I'm so so excited because I feel like I've gotten this technique down so today I'm basically going to show you how to achieve this look with curl formers but I really want for you guys to enjoy this curl formers tutorial it's super easy it literally only took me maybe about 45 minutes to apply the curl formers and I only sit under the dryer for maybe about another 30 minutes so sit back relax and enjoy so loves I actually started with co-wash tear and the first thing that you want to do is take the curl former and slide it onto the rod or the hook then take a small section of hair, detangle it, twist it ever so tightly at the root, wrap the hook around the twisted part of the hair, slide the curl former up, and then pull the rod through. Let's repeat. Apply the curl former to the rod, grab a small section of hair, and detangle that small section, and this part is optional, but it does smooth out the hair. Twist the roots of the section and then wrap the hook around the roots, pulling the hook through. Now you're going to continue to just repeat these steps throughout your entire head and I'll show you closer up views of this same process. So here I'm actually applying the mousse. You didn't see it before because I like to apply it to the whole section and detangle it one good time before I actually start the process. So, sliding the curl former onto the rod, twisting the root ever so tightly, wrapping the hook around it, sliding the curl former up to that twisted part, get it as close as you can, and then just pull the rod through. So I'm pretty much finishing up that last rod and I just used one bag of my curl formers which is 40 curl formers. Now this is what my hair looked like right after I finished applying them and no, they are not comfortable to sleep on but I did. I also sat under the dryer for about 30 minutes. Now the next morning it is time to take these beauties out. So to remove curl formers, you just pinch the top just to open up the slide and then you pull them out of your hair. I'm just going to take my finger just so that I fix the curl and it's not disturbed. So just pinch the snout and then pull the curl former out of your hair. It's pretty simple. You really can't go wrong with it. Now another technique is just to basically straighten the curl former and then pull it off. They all work just about the same and here are my curls undisturbed and they are lovely. separate my curls and to add volume I'm just breaking them down into smaller sections and then twisting them back around my fingers so that they still have that same curl pattern. Keep in mind that this will create just a little bit of frizz but it also adds nice volume and form. I broke down every single curl this is what I was pretty much left with and I am in love I'm going to continue using curl formers I hope that you enjoyed this video please leave in the comments below 
what video you want to see next so that I can start working on that video. I appreciate you guys. You can always follow me on Instagram at I know Lee with an extra E. L-E-E-E. -E -E. <laughs> And of course, hit the subscribe button so that you guys can receive notifications of every single time that I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!